All right, it's the middle of the night right now, and I just woke up with an idea. And I'm just going to barf it out on camera so I don't forget. <clears throat> on the solar snailer, replace one of the flexible solar panels with one glass solar panel that has a higher voltage than the flexible ones. And that'll solve a bunch of problems. That means I can keep the batteries at the, the full voltage and uh, I can charge them through the glass one which will be a higher voltage so it'll be able to charge them and then I can run the batteries in parallel with the solar panels the flexible solar panels without risk of damaging the batteries all right so I barfed out some gibberish about solar panels and batteries at 3 a.m. here's what I was talking about uh, well first I'm running a 48 volt system on the boat because I'm getting a free motor that's 48 volts. All my other boats are 24, but since I'm getting this free motor, I'm making this one 48. Uh, so here, let me just, I'm going to draw this so it doesn't get confusing. Okay, uh, 40, excuse my upside down writing, 48 volt system is generally 48 volts up to like about 56. Yeah, about 56 volts. Now the solar panels I have, the flexible solar panels are 28 volts each, like maximum voltage. So two of them together is 56 volts. So I got my solar panels here. They are also 56 volts. <clears throat> A 56 volt thing can't charge something very well up to 56 volts. Sure, you could leave them connected to each other for like four months and it would eventually get there. However, when the voltages get close together, the electricity flow slows down a lot and then eventually stops. So you need a higher voltage to charge uh, the batteries. So my first thought was, well, I could reduce this because I'm making the battery banks, right? So if I leave out a couple cells, and I'm going to have to confirm these numbers, but it's somewhere around this. Um, I'm using lithium iron phosphate batteries, but I can leave out a couple cells and get down to like 50 volts or something like that. And this would be like 40, 42 to 50 volts, but the, the maximum voltage is what we're concerned about here. So then the 56 volts, because there's a six volt uh, differential here, the electricity is still going to flow and I can charge the, the uh, batteries to 50 volts. Now the problem is... I'm not going to connect 12 solar panels I'm not going to connect all 12 of these solar panels to those batteries because it's, it's, it's going to be a waste. They're not going to be able to force the electricity in there fast enough and even if they could, they'd like melt everything. I just want to, so I'm going to do what I usually do. I'm going to take two solar panels, let's say these two here. Those ones will charge the batteries. And all the rest of these will just go directly to the motor. Um, <clears throat> this is a marvelous diagram here. Uh, now the thing is, when... Uh, okay, the, the batteries also go directly to the motor, right? So there's going to be times when I'm I'm powering with the batteries and the solar panels and that means these two will also be connected and if the motors using all the electricity from the solar panels then it'll also get electricity from the the batteries however if it's not using all the electricity from the solar panels some of that electricity is going to go into the batteries and could overcharge them now this is a problem so my first thought was, okay, I put a voltmeter on here and I make sure it stays at 50 volts or less. And that means I have to pay attention. What if I'm not paying attention? Or what if some, some idiot is come, comes over and starts messing with switches on the boat when I'm not there? I need to plan for non-optimal situations, right? So I don't want to have this situation where I could blow up the batteries. So what I thought of last night was, okay, we keep this 56 volts. <clears throat> these two solar panels can't charge it all the way. Let's point over there now. Blue. 
uh, because they only go up to 56 volts. So I take one of these solar panels out, uh, say this one, and make it one of the glass ones, which is slightly longer. This is totally not to scale. So this will have to be a little bit longer. Now this will go up to, say this is a 36 volt instead of a 28. So that's a six volt difference. No, an eight volt difference. So I get eight extra volts. So it's not 56 anymore. Now it's uh, 64 volts going into the 56 that will charge it all the way <clears throat> with these two solar panels. And then if these are connected to the motor and this 56 volt is connected to the motor and the motor's not using all the electricity, this 56 volts could flow into the battery, but only up until this reaches the maximum of 56. It won't overcharge it. Boom! And yes, there are also complicated computerized solutions to this, which I'm not using because it is not useful. And I mean, what if I'm out in the water and the, the computer dies? Like, what, I'm, I'm dead stranded because this tiny little chip? No, no. <clears throat> this, is, this is a good way to do it. I think I want to steal one of these solar panels. Let's see. Open circuit voltage is 40. Uh, the rated maximum, wait. Rated voltage, 31. Yeah, so it'll be 31 to 39. That's, that's enough. It's gotta be a meter or less. Oh, it's slightly over. No! Let me check that out. There's one I can get a good look at. Right here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's right on. Yeah, it's dead on a meter. So it will fit with no space <laughs> left. My flexible solar panels are one meter, actually 99 centimeters, by 138 centimeters. And the glass one is one meter by 168. So 30 centimeters extra in this middle row. Totally fine, I think. And I better confirm that I actually have a meter of space on this thing. Yeah, so uh, I'll have to figure out how to have the, the solar panel frame stop, have some way of just attaching a glass solar panel in there, and then another chunk of this for the other flexible one. Well, I guess I could just do that. Just uh, recess a chunk in. This is only like a two or three centimeters thickness of the glass one yeah it should be fine I can't just make it all in one shot I was gonna be so nice just all flat super simple thing but yeah that's not that hard to do yeah I mean other than being a tiny bit more irritating to build I don't see any problems with this at the moment I'll let it dwell in my head for today I think it's a good plan. I don't know, we'll see.